It's product testing time. We're testing out the BM550 Plus. It's a battery analyzer brought to you by King Bolin. Not only will they kick your ass in Bolin, but they're pretty good at battery analyzers too. They even build code scanners. I got one at home. Works great. Today we're checking out the performance of these battery analyzers. Now to tell you the truth, I have always been a little skeptic of these things. Waveform? That's neat. We'll have to check that out later. Quit looking at my fuzz. 6, 12, 24 volt. Let's start with the 12 volt here. Now you gotta punch in the cold cranking amps. Ah, it's hot, hidden on this one. We'll go with uh, 655. Gotta be somewhere around there. It's like a feather in a hat. Try her out. SOH 80%. Whatever that means. SOC 98. Huh. Okay, state of health and state of charge. Okay. So it should be a damn good battery then. Well, we're just going to test it out here with the old AVR machine. We'll do a little comparison to see if uh, she's telling the truth or not, you know. So you want to tighten up the carbon pile until you're pulling half of the cold cranking amps out of it. And hold that for 15 seconds and you want to watch that voltage. Depending on the temperature, it shouldn't drop below, oh, nine and a half or so. We're at 9.8. Oh, it wind's at 70 degrees, <laughs> but feels like a million in here. We're testing in uncharted territories. It's gonna get bumpy. Ah, it barely passes after we pull the surface charge off of this thing, which is what you should always do before you test a battery. I know, I forgot. Should've been a parts guy. Now we'll try out this gold-wrenching 24-volt battery. We got 450 plus 450, add them together, and it's like 900 million friggin' cold cranking amps. Or, what? It's like brand new 10 years ago. Well, let's try out this uh, friggin' waveform viewer. That's a pretty neat option on this thing. Gotta be hooked up to constant power for it. Uh, it graphs it and shows you the min and max. That's actually pretty handy. Thanks, King Bullen.